everybody, it's Chris Sovey with HealthyConsumer.com. I'm a physical therapist and a registered nurse, and I wanted to take a few moments to speak with you about inversion tables. Inversion tables are very interesting. I have a lot of clients who ask me about them as a means of self-traction and whether or not they're effective. I don't believe that there is a large supporting body of evidence that says that, yes, inversion tables are effective. You can see inversions in so many different types of practices, um, yoga, Pilates, and other forms of exercise. So the real question is, are inversion tables effective? I obviously have some belief in them because I have one right here, although I think I approach it slightly different. I want to mention that I have two herniated discs in my thoracic spine if you've never seen some of my other videos. And so I, I am a firm believer in traction, but a lot of times I think that it needs to be specific. Um, I've been seeing a chiropractor who does a, a type of uh, traction called Cox flexion distraction where the practitioner will place their hand across the spinous process and they'll allow the rest of your back to traction under that. So it's very specific. So an inversion table is not specific. It's a very generalized traction like some other forms of traction. So when your body is suffering from some type of narrowing between the vertebral bodies and the disc space narrows, whether it be from stenosis, a herniated disc, or other causes, um, typically you're going to have muscle guarding associated with it as well, so your body kind of clenches up. So when you have something like that, then what's going to happen is when you go into an inversion, your body is going to guard that area and because of the muscle guarding your body's going to take the path of least resistance so you may not traction the area that you actually need to traction which I think is one of the problems with inversion tables um, that being said I still like inversion tables because I use it as a tool in my toolbox I think that anytime you suffer from a serious injury of any kind then you have to have a multiple modality approach. So when I use when I use inversion tables, I don't just passively invert. I also try and combine breath with it to loosen up some of the areas, which I think increases um, some of the effectiveness. So I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm coming back here, and notice I don't do a full inversion. I just go to about halfway or a little bit past horizontal here. So in this kind of position, I can breathe. And I can loosen up some of those really tight areas in my rib cage, and my thoracic spine, my intercostals. And for me in particular, that's excellent. Of course, in the low spine, you can think of the same thing as you do some deep breathing. You can imagine the diaphragm dropping down in the abdominal cavity and loosening up all those paraspinals, quadratus lumborum, all those muscles around that area that are going to contribute. Sorry if I've got boxers hanging out there, um, but uh, what is going to happen is is if you combine breathing with it, you can usually get more traction through there, in my opinion, in some of those tight areas. Um, it is worth noting that there are contraindications, reasons that you should not use an inversion table, especially if you have any kind of cardiac history. Uh, there are many others as well that you should explore with your healthcare professional before trying an inversion table. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have in the comment section below there. So, uh, again, another tool in the toolbox. Not a cure, but another tool in the toolbox so you can learn more about yourself. So, again, this is Chris Sovey with HealthyConsumer.com. Uh, I'm a physical therapist, and please feel free to subscribe below there so we can provide you with more helpful helpful tips on how to take care of your spine as we have in previous videos and of course we do a lot of integrative health practices as well with nutrition and other forms of healing so subscribe below and we'll see you soon have a great day